Another tool to measure the polar vortex is LIDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It's a remote sensing method that uses a laser to measure surfaces of the Earth. Combined with other data, LIDAR generates precise three-dimensional information about the shape of the Earth and its surface characteristics. LIDAR are extremely sophisticated instruments. They involve sending pulses of powerful laser beams into the atmosphere. Based on this return signal, we can determine the properties of the atmosphere. Measurements we make, in particular of temperatures and winds, allow us to detect disturbances in the stratosphere. For example, sudden heating of the stratosphere, which then propagates towards the poles, which can lead to the destruction of the vortex. We are in the process of setting up real-time data analysis systems that can then be used to validate the forecasts of the weather models in near real time. The European Space Agency's Aeolus Space LIDAR was launched in 2018 and is currently in operation. This is the first time we have direct wind measurements from space on a global scale. There is also a future for LIDAR in space.